Hello all, I Zatan welcomes you all to our YouTube channel A to Z Soft Tech. Here you will get educational videos related to NCRT subjects and technical subjects based on computer science. If you find our videos helpful to you, please like and share the videos, do subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon to get updates about new videos. To get more clarity on the topic, watch the video till the end. You can reach to us using our email, WhatsApp and Telegram channel. The link is provided in the description box below the video. You can find our video using hashtag Zatinsa, hashtag A to Z software. Now let's start with the topic. Hello everyone. Our today's topic is interrupts. In this, we will discuss about interrupts, types of interrupts, and its classification. Generally, the interrupts are classified into two categories, hardware and software. Further, hardware interrupts are classified into maskable and non-maskable interrupts. So we will discuss all these types. Introduction. The meaning of interrupt is to break the sequence of operation. Means interrupt is something which breaks the current execution sequence. While the microprocessor is executing a program, an interrupt breaks the normal sequence of the execution of instruction and diverts its execution to some other program called interrupt service routine in short it is called as isr we can say that like this is a program which is normally being executed suppose here an interrupt is generated now this interrupt will cause the execution of some other subroutine it will disturb the normal execution of this program. Such scenario is known as interrupt. The processor can be interrupted in the following ways. One, by any external signal or by any internal signal that is generated by any special instruction or by any in internal signal that is generated due to any condition which occurs while executing means if we suppose like there is a program in which there is an instruction a is equals to b divided by c this is perfectly correct until unless c is equals to zero so the third point states if such condition is there if such condition is there only then an interrupt is generated now here this is a diagram pin diagram of 8085 microprocessor 8085 microprocessor in 8085 microprocessor we have few interrupts that is denoted by this box here pin number 6 7 8 9 and 10 are the interrupts there are five interrupts five interrupt signals in 8085 and one interrupt acknowledge signal and one signal which is used as an interrupt acknowledge this is about 8085 in 8086 only two interrupt signals are there two signals are there only pin number 17 and 18 in the 8086 now the classification of interrupts interrupts are classified in two categories hardware interrupt and software interrupt the hardware interrupts are further classified into maskable interrupts and non-maskable interrupts. 
whereas software interrupts can be classified into different 250 cycle 256 categories now first of all hardware interrupts the interrupts which are initiated by any external hardware any external hardware if causes an interrupt it will be categorized in the hardware interrupts means any hardware x hardware is there which is connected with the microprocessor and it is generated any signal on the interrupt pin of the processor then it will be called as an hardware interrupt in 8086 microprocessor we are taking the example of 8086 here there are two interrupt pins INTR and NMI INTR is known as interrupt whereas NMI stands for non maskable interrupt okay so if any interrupt initiated on INTR or NMI it will be taken as an interrupt These two pins are for hardware interrupts. Any interrupt generated on any of the pin will be considered as the hardware interrupt. Next is maskable and non-maskable interrupt, which are classified under hardware interrupts. Also, we are taking example here of 8086 the 8086 having maskable and non-maskable interrupt also 8085 is also having maskable and non-maskable interrupts now maskable interrupt the 8086 the 8086 microprocessor having two interrupts on pin number 17 and 18 pin number 18 which is INTR this is known as the maskable interrupt means meaning of maskable interrupt is which can be rejected or which can be paused for some time that is maskable interrupt next is non maskable interrupt the NMI pin number 17 is known as NMI. NMI stands for non maskable interrupt. Means any signal generating on NMI will not be rejected and will not get paused. As the interrupt generated, it will get serviced once it is generated. Now, maskable interrupt is the interrupt which can be masked, which can be masked means paused and re-enable them later. A programmer can pause them and re-enable them later. Non-maskable interrupts are those interrupts which cannot be controlled by the programmer. A programmer cannot control the non-maskable interrupts. The processor has to stop the main program and to execute the NMI service routine means this is the highest priority signal once this signal get high or generated now the at that time processor has to stop the main program and processor has to execute the NMI service routine. Maskable and non-maskable interrupts in detail. The processor has facility for accepting or rejecting the hardware interrupts. If it is rejecting any hardware interrupt, then it is a non-maskable. Sorry, it is a maskable. And if processor is always accepting the interrupt, that means the uh, interrupt is non-maskable interrupt because it cannot be wait. Programming the processor to reject an interrupt is referred to as masking. And to accept is referred as unmasking or non-masking. The interrupt whose request can be either accepted or rejected. Accepted or rejected. Here rejected, the, uh, rejected word is there. So it means we are talking about maskable interrupts. Another is 
interrupts whose request has to be definitely accepted means cannot be rejected by the processor are called as non maskable interrupts the highest priority interrupts causes of hardware interrupts see here few hardwares are denoted which can cause any interrupt like keyboard mouse hard drive floppy drive and dvd drive these may cause interrupt to the processor next is software interrupts now these are the interrupts which are generated by any program instruction which are generated by any program instructions like we have just discussed a is equals to b upon c such scenario causes software interrupts these instructions are inserted at desired locations in the program another we can discuss about jump call halt these are also software interrupts while running a program if software interrupt instruction is encountered then the processor initiates an interrupt means if such condition can be if such condition is there then processor initiates the interrupt by its own it means we have only special kind of instructions that are act as interrupts to the processor in 8086 microprocessor we have 256 types of software interrupts and it is denoted by intn where int stands for interrupt and n stands for the number of the interrupt which is in the range of 0 to 255 now what is then a software interrupt it is used by operating systems to provide hooks into various function means software interrupt is used by operating system another it is used as a communication mechanism between different parts of the system a to b if a and b are the two different applications of a system then they both can communicate using software interrupts here is the references which i have just discussed with you i have taken from ramesh s gonkar written book and another book which is written by mohammad rafi kuzma these two books i referred for making these slides thank you everyone well this is all for today thank you very much for your patience listening please feel free to ask for queries you can find our contact information in the description box just below the video thank you once again have a nice day thank you